Hiya, we're back for Lincoln City versus Carlisle today. Uh, should be a good game. I hope we can get our first win of the season. I'm pretty confident. Don't know how they're going to be there. Pretty similar to like likes of Exeter. I think they're all going to be up there. Hopefully we can be up there with them. Um, Tom Miller will be back. Be good to give him a good reception. And Habegam's back on the bench. So hopefully we can see some time from him. Because we have missed his deliveries and his crossing a lot. Not scored a set piece yet this season. Anyway, see you after the match. So, uh, just watched Imps vs Carlisle. What do you think, Gary? I think it's a good game. I think it's a good game of football. I think um, Carlisle are a strong unit. Um, I think it was end to end. Um, there was a lot of nice, tasty tackles going there in. Was yeah. Threat to boil over once or twice. I think. Yeah, there was some. Weird, there was, it got a bit feisty towards the end, but well, not not really at the end because we were pretty calm by the end. It was very easy by the time Palmer came on. Yeah, I mean, you say easy, but I think they always looked like they could break and score. They did, yeah, but. Well, there was points where we were like, I saw our players just trying to score worldies, weren't yeah. they? Like, Macri trying to run past four <laughs> players. I was, I was, he had a brilliant game, though, didn't he? Greeny did, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm talking about them, and I thought that they were, they were compact, I thought they were organised, I thought the centre forwards worked hard, um, but we've still come away with a 4 1 win. I think we were clinical. Mm. After they lost the man, we probably could have scored another three, which is something that we, that's been said a lot recently about Lincoln, hasn't it? We've, we've had opportunities, not been making much clear cut chances or goals, and we had a lot more clear cut chances today. We did. I thought well, we had Harry Anderson come on. I thought he had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, when overlapping with uh, Sean Long and the number yeah, of times. Yeah, I was thinking, because uh, I said this to Floss in the first half, with uh, Maguire Drew, who I know you said was a bit poor today. I thought so. Um, him and Long didn't seem to work together too well because Maguire Drew likes to come inside. Yes. And Long, he, he, does, he likes to wear up sometimes, but not all the time. He's not going to be always overlapping past Maguire Drew. They didn't seem to have that connection, really. No, I, I agree. I think when Maguire Drew was coming inside when you wanted him outside. Mm. And then when you wanted him outside, you, 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 no, he's a good footballer. I think he'll, that's clear. He'll come good. Yeah, I mean, they had a bank of five as well at one point, And I think um, you know, they, they weren't easy to break down until they had to chase the game. The first goal was crucial. If we don't score that, I think it goes the same way as Morecambe. Mm. Except they were more dangerous than Morecambe. You know, they, they're a better team than Morecambe were, and we beat them 4-1 and drew with Morecambe. Yeah. Um, okay, it comes back to the clear cut chances that we took on so. We did, yeah. It was a sloppy goal to concede. That's what Daniel yeah. was talking about, yeah. no doubt at all. But um, you know, we took our chances. We missed a few. Um, <laughs> Billy not, you know, two goals in uh, coming on from from the bench. He's going to have to have a sharp start. In mm. Reedy won his flick on today. Reedy well. did. There was a there was a go, uh, bloke sat behind me saying, uh, kept slagging off Reedy, saying he was a bit slow. He had a couple of chances he missed where he went for the man where he should have gone for the ball maybe. But then he changed. Uh, yeah, yeah, massive look, impact, didn't he? Reedy's slow. <laughs> but he's there because he's a battering ram and you know he's nodding on. A tractor's slow, but it, <laughs> it pulls trail it bales of hay and a Lamborghini doesn't. Do you know what I mean? So it's also of course he's really does the job. He isn't quick, but he won the flick ons. He irritates people, he aggravates the defence. Won the flick on for the Arnold penalty shout. Too. Yes, he did. Yeah, was it Arnold? I thought I it was think... Matty Green, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah, I think was it well, Matt? but we'll, it was we'll it was it was it, it was a, a clear cut penalty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a clear cut penalty. Coming over doubt. the back of him, money. Yeah, it was it was all day long. Thought the ref had a, a shocker in the first half. They'll probably they won't, say they won't be happy with him. Will no, they? they'll say he had a shocker in the second half. At the end of the day, I'm afraid the guy got two bookings, and they were both bookings. Um, so he can't argue. They with they won't be happy about um, Richie Bennett. Is it? Bennett, their striker, who yeah. got booked for the pretty, pretty similar to what uh, yeah, that Greeny did. Yeah, I'll, I'll give him that. I, yeah. think, I think that was harsh. He was just a foot or two closer to the keeper, mm. and he moved mm. as Farman distributed it, and whereas our players are moving away as the player distributes it. Fine lines, fine margins. Yeah. Anyway, good match. Thanks for talking. Zan, no worries at all. Thank you. Cheers.